Right, so here we are. Just stopped to show you what I've been putting on the bike. These are the MTB 500 SPD compatible pedals from Decathlon. Now these are actually a combination pedal, they're flat on one side and clipless cleats on the other. They did come with reflectors on but I've removed both of those. Main reason being that in the back of the pedal here you've got a little port for altering the tension on your, your cleats and it's easier to do that with the reflectors removed. Also, who rides with reflectors on the mountain bikes these days? This is the second ride out on these pedals. I just did a little bit of a local potter about the woods last weekend, just after I'd first fit them, just to get used to them. And yeah, I've come out a little bit further, although nothing too far, nothing too technical, until I get used to them. So far, I'm fairly happy with the pedals. Uh, when I first put them on, the bearings did feel a little ropey, but they seem to be bedding in and loosening up a little bit more. Uh, these pedals cost £19.99 from Decathlon and for a first clipless type pedal I think they're a pretty good buy. I mean, so don't have to worry about, if I'm just coming out on a quick ride, don't have to worry about having me clipless shoes on. I can just have an old pair of trainers and ride the flats. Flats pedal side isn't quite as grippy as um, the other pedals I have which are fat spanners fatty flatties with the little metal uh, pegs on them um, but for just general riding seem a pretty good pedal and now for the shoes these also from Decathlon and these are Rock Rider ST100 mountain bike shoes they look pretty much like a, a fairly conventional trainer with the addition of a, a loop to retain your laces and obviously the SPD compatible cleat on the bottom got a nice rugged tread on the bottom so on days like the day when it's October and the mud's out you've got reasonable tread for, for yomping about in the mud and we've got to get off and push and walk with the bike quite a comfortable trainer so far don't believe they're going to be waterproof although it is a sort of plasticky leathery type of thing with a lot of ventilation so I suppose a bit of spray and everything's not going to soak through but if you're in a proper downpour then yeah you're going to get wet feet I'd possibly pair these up with a set of something like seal skin socks or something like that if you're concerned about getting wet feet but yeah quite happy with these so far and the cost of these were $34.99 so for the combination of the pedals and the shoes you're looking at sort of £55 and you're set up with a fairly solid clipless setup. I do a long bit of better review on these products once I've ridden with them for a few months so that's Steve Outdoors with the clipless pedals on the Vita Sentia I'll see you in the next video.